I'm with the Long Beach icon, Harvey Wiesenberg, and there's no politician anywhere in the world who's done more for special needs than my friend Harvey. It's been your life. It's passion. God bless me. He gave me an angel in my life. I have a special child who can't speak, can't cry, and can't sing. But he can give love. And the love he gave me and my wife, you just can't imagine the happiness that we've gotten from our special angel. And what we have to really focus on is to make people aware that children with special needs are a blessing. And we have a bench on the boardwalk. I dedicated in our anniversary, my wife and I, one of our anniversaries, dedicated to Ricky, our special child, and all special children for the joy and happiness they bring to our world. And that's what this is all about, putting a face on our children and focusing on what they can do, not what they can't do. Harvey, one of my all-time uh, favorite stories is when Governor Cuomo wanted to cut special needs. You had the guts to stand up to him and say, you're not cutting special needs, and you got your way and you prevailed. Talk about that. God is good. The answer really is, I feel every elected official who serves in the legislature, especially in the state of New York, is the voice of the people. And nobody. When politics takes over government, there is no government. So the people had an opportunity. I made a speech and made every legislator feel the responsibility to be the voice of those who have no voice. And we all voted and put the money back. So God was right. We did the right thing. And that's the way it is. Harvey, this is so sad for me because this is the first time and I've known you for years that I've seen you without your beloved Ellen. You two really had the ultimate love, love affair. It's probably such a great marriage on love and you worked together for special needs. You did so many wonderful things together. Talk about the, the wonderful person Ellen was and the legacy she leaves behind. To know Ellen is to love her. People who just met her once or Ellen just spoke to them walk away with a smile. When Ellen was in the emergency room, she was making other people who were patients there smile. God put her on this earth to make people happy. She just gave happiness to anybody and everybody who ever met her. She was a blessing. I always say, Ricky was my angel, Ellen was my saint, and I have a mission to follow up and do what I can with bless for people with families with children with disabilities. So God bless Ellen. Harvey, thank you so much. You're such a wonderful person, uh, one of my all-time favorite people, and uh, we uh, we cherish any time we have with Harvey Wiesenberg. Thank you. Uh,